Hi, welcome. Uh, in this video series, I'm going to show a build of the second largest machine that we've ever done before. Um, it's a CNC router. It's based off of our Fabricator Pro, and the machine is 8 feet by 17 feet. The client in this case, he's a uh, uh, we call him Dr. J. He's, uh, he designs structures for fish farms and he needed a, a machine that large for very large HDPE sheets to lay on and there's a lot of drilling and cutting. There's thousands of holes that go into this, uh, his designs. So he needed a large machine. He, was, he used to do this by hand and, uh, and he was very welcome to see a machine that large into his, into his shop. Uh, we've never uh, done a machine of that size uh, for the Fabricator Pro. We have done a larger machine, uh, but that was uh, on a different purpose. It was actually for the National Science Foundation, and it was for it was actually really, really tall. I could fit underneath it, and it was on large tracks, and uh, it was for uh, ground penetrating radar. So it was uh, it was an interesting scientific um, application. Uh, in this case, it was. It's just doing some uh, drilling and cutting routines. And um, we had a great time in Wisconsin. It was around July, August. So it was like the hottest time in, uh, in Texas where I was uh, currently living. And, um, and I, w I welcomed the, uh, the travel up to uh, Wisconsin because it was a beautiful, beautiful uh, 60s and 70s um, up there. The only problem, there's a lot of mosquitoes <laughs> at night. Uh, so let's get into the build. This is the first day that we were at the uh, at his location in his uh, shop. This is a uh, post frame building that he shares with somebody else. So here are the table parts, uh, the main frame parts. You can see that I have, that's essentially looking at the width of the machine. I have two legs, one on each side. I have some knee braces. I'm setting up one of these uh, as a template essentially so I can try to uh, work on this machine in a uh, more efficient manner so I can uh, try to get everything together, uh, try, to, uh, try to define some kind of process that makes it a little bit faster, putting the, the legs on and the knee braces on and the, uh, the T brackets on. All of these parts were cut out using the um, the Green Bull CNC router. There's quite a bit of hardware that goes with this build and uh, you can see those huge couplings with the sprockets and the water reservoir with fan and radiator. This is the um, the dust shoe with the rail that goes up and down and allows the dust shoe to, to maintain uh, level on the top of the work surface. This is the cable carrier or cable chain and this is the uh, roller chain uh, part of the mechanics to move the machine. And then you have the knee braces and L brackets and T brackets and here is the high wind rail that I use for guiding each axis along a straight path. The only way to get this machine over here would be in pieces, uh, sort of a kit, a kit, uh, kit of parts and uh, most of it is a kit of parts. Uh, I built the gantry uh, in Texas so that is fully, uh, fully assembled and that's actually on uh, on Dr. J's uh, trailer. I use this uh, gantry and electronics to demonstrate how the electronics works with the Mach 3 USB controller. You can see that at the Mach 3 USB controller's uh, product page. Those videos reside there. And uh, you can see how large the gantry is. Um, this is where uh, we had to remove it from the trailer and this is actually part of the um, all the wood you see there is actually part of the crate that I uh, I built to have it shipped and he took most of it apart but he kept some of it so it can safely be transported to this facility Dr. J right there is taking some of it apart all of the parts that were on the table actually came in this crate that I built. The main part of the gantry is built using a very large C-channel of aluminum. It's an architectural structural aluminum 6061 T6 
alloy and you can see that these these uh, pieces when they come from the metal uh, warehouse or some uh, wherever they're stored is they're really dirty when they come and we, uh, we uh, my wife and I actually did a lot of cleaning and we tried to brush it as much as we could uh, so it looked presentable and looked nice you can see part of the z-axis here the loop you saw on the top was uh, for the the top vacuum mount you can see how we wrapped up uh, the z-axis with towels and whatever we could took as many precautions as we could with the um, packing of it so the gantry would stay safe and would not get harmed in the shipping and here are the uh, what are these these are the the main C channels for the sides and then here are the legs. Uh, there's a lot of legs, you can see. I have them all stacked up. With all the holes uh, pre-drilled. So those all have to receive screws and nuts. Some of the padding we used and all the towels. <laughs> okay, so here I am starting the building process. Uh, starting on the, uh, the ribs. These are the parts that go across between the the two main rails and there are a lot of them I am putting on the legs and I already have uh, the L brackets on there I didn't get it looks like I didn't get that on film but um, the legs are being put on it you can see I put my jacket on this is July I think and it was it was chilly so I'm putting the legs on and I'm also putting on those knee braces that you see you can also see my son Nicholas. Uh, he's he's the camera person, so he's going around with uh, the DSLR and getting a little, getting some close-ups. Here are some of the close-ups that my son took. Um, I'm putting in only a few screws uh, just to hold them in. Uh, I want to get the most adjustability and uh, so I can when I put this on the floor I can square it level it um, make sure all of the the legs are plumb and there's gonna be these are actually at the midpoint of the ribs so these actually hold a leg at the midpoint of each rib because these ribs are so wide the the travel is eight feet so the actual width is more than eight feet. It's about eight and a half feet, maybe a little more. So there needs to be some structure, something that holds the midpoint up so there's no sagging of the actual table itself. So that's what these uh, T brackets I call are used for. I'm using uh, quarter inch screws. I think these are one inch or they're three quarter inch. And on the other side, I'm using a spring lock washer and a nut. These spring lock washers actually work really, really well. Uh, I've, I've seen uh, a lot of videos showing that there's other methods that work better, but we've gotten these things so tight that we can't even get them off anymore. So it's, and we have a lot of these going on the machine. So the, the structure is really solid. These are the legs going on the ribs. Um, all the ribs right now are upside down, so uh, the top of the, the machine would be um, underneath looking, looking up. And so you can see where I'm, there's, a, there's multiple places you can position the legs on the, on the rib, and I'm selecting this particular position. <laughs> Since he doesn't need that much depth on the position of the table. The table surface or the bed of the table can be raised or lowered uh, depending on the application and if you want to put um, other uh, types of tables on top of the surface like T-slot tables or um, vacuum tables, those types of uh, surfaces. None of these screws and nuts are actually tightened down. I'm only snugly uh, putting them against the spring lock washers 
So I'm able to uh, later on square each leg to the rib. The brackets are quarter inch uh, 6061 T6 aluminum. I designed the holes of the brackets to be intentionally larger so I can use them for any adjustability that I needed to uh, to conform to the differences in the floor level and things like that and also for tweaking um, spacing uh, widths of these individual ribs so the rails are going to be perfectly straight or as perfect as I can get them and that they all the uh, legs can be squared this is the knee brace that I'm adding uh, between the leg and the rib so it can serve as a part of the structure that limits racking in the side to side motion the overall structure is limited to using the angles for the legs the C channels for the ribs and for the uh, x-axis um, main rail supports and for the brackets is a just a large plate of quarter inch 6061 t6 all of the uh, aluminum is 6061 t6 this alloy of aluminum has a good balance of machining and for strength even the bracket that I use to connect the knee brace uh, back to the the angle for the legs okay. is another shorter piece of the C channel. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Uh, please leave any comments down below. Uh, consider s subscribing if you can and uh, liking this video if you really do like it. And thank you for watching.